Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and in today's video we're going to be taking a close look at Joyfest, episode one, Martin's Secret Recipe. Although there is an article about that, I can see nothing of interest. From the look of it, I was expecting a Monkey Island ripoff, but it's really not. Yes, he's got a silly name, he's got a floppy fringe, he's a bit skinny, a bit gangly, and there are striking similarities to Mr. Threepwood, but Joyfest is definitely you, his own man. Perhaps because of but let's rewind and take a look at the plot. We play already a pirate, Joyfest, and if anything is a bit bored of this whole pirate life. After years at being at sea, yeah, fighting squids, squ squads, squ 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 what's, what's the plural of squids? He finally returns to his hometown for a change of scenery. But everything is a little bit different now. Joyfest is expecting to go back to a bustling metropolis of an island, but instead it's practically deserted. Instead of taking life by the horns and doing the pirate thing, we decide to, obviously, enter a cooking competition. And this right here is the main plot of Joyfest. We start off in a bar looking curiously like the curse of Monkey Island and meet our nemesis with the evil name, Simon. And after a quick chat with the locals, we soon discover that ex-patron Martin has up and left the island and in doing so has taken half of the population with him. In terms of gameplay, it's a simple one for a point-to-click adventure. Left click to some walks to or picks up and right click looks at. And you must look at. There are loads of things to pick up here, and if you don't look at them closely, you'll miss things, which I did several times. As the game progresses, you do acquire Martin's old cookbook, and you end up having to cross-reference ingredients with different people and finding out where to get these rare items. It is not abundantly clear this is what you have to do, and it did take me a while to figure it out. I think it's a great little mechanic. But how about the puzzles? For the most part, they make sense. However, there are a few that, if done it in the wrong order, just don't make sense, but Joyfest still does them anyway. For example, there's a whole thing with a horseshoe and a magnet, and I've no idea why I was doing it, but he was doing it anyway. Later on in the game, it all became clear why, but at the time, I just didn't understand. As for the art, sound, and music, it looks great, it sounds great, and I really believe that I was on this island. It's crisp, it's clean, and there's not yeah, too many hotspots on the screen to confuse you. All the voices have been done with professional voice actors, and it shows. It sounds great. So that's all the positive things. Let's flip the coin and see what I can dig at. To be honest, not much. There are parts of the game where I didn't really know what I was doing, and I ended up meandering around for quite a while. Sometimes you'd exit a screen after talking to someone, and after you go back after a while, it's all changed but there's no reason for it to change, and it's, it does get a little bit confusing. However, I didn't get stuck. Right at the start of the game, you get all your information in a big chunk. You end up talking to the barkeeper for what feels like forever. In conclusion, Joyfest, Episode 1, Martin's Secret Recipe. Side note, I have no idea how many episodes are going to be in this, but it definitely ends on a cliffhanger. It was a joyful three hours, and Sandwagon Games have done themselves proud for a first game. If you can look past the obvious LucasArts and specifically Monkey Island references, then there is a game here to thoroughly enjoy. I'm looking forward to episode 2 to see where it goes. Thank you for watching my review. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Until next time, you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. Take care.